Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everyone. I am Veos, and welcome back to another video. And uh, we're trying to get this rocket uh, SSTO, it, turn it into a you know a, a moon. Not even a moon. We're 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 going everywhere with this thing. But first, we have to get it out of the Kerbal system, and that's where we're kind of stuck on. Now, I was told that. Uh, the glitch for the cargo bay being the root part only happens when the craft is reloaded into the game. So we're actually going to test that right quick. Okay, cargo bay as root part test. One, without reloading. And three, two, one, go. Alright, so our apoapsis is at five four six. So apoapsis five four six. Let's uh, write that down. Reloading the craft will give us the bug. Three, two, one, go. Oh okay. Our apoapsis height is now at five forty. We lost some we lost some, huh? Hmm. Okay. Huh. Okay, so there is a bit of a drag. There is that there is a little bug there. I stand corrected. Wow. Also though also for uh, those of you who are asking, here's the ship upright and here is the passenger module upright. For those of you who are asking. I might not even use the passenger module. I can save four tons if I don't use it. But then the Kerbal won't be too happy with me, will he? No, he won't. He'll be quite upset with me. Just a little. Just a little bit. Slightly upset with me. Just slightly. All right. <clears throat> Let's gut this thing out. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So we've effectively increased our delta V by almost almost 200 meters per second. But it's I don't think it's going to be still on. I don't see that being good enough to be able to make it to at least Minmus and land on Minmus. That's going to be close. Real close. All we got to do is get to Minmus. Once we're at Minmus, the entire solar system is ours. We got enough fuel for a lot of activity. First, we got to get there. Mm. And to be honest, this 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 thing only works when you're in a, uh, what was it, a polar orbit. You know how hard it is to get to a polar orbit, orbit sometimes? We don't have that luxury. Okay. Man, man. This kind of sucks. Mm. I'm not getting rid of the passenger module because it, in, I, I wouldn't be able to, I would not be able to sleep well at night knowing that I had made it into space with a Kerbal that's literally attached to a chair seat or something for the next umpteen however many millions of years he's going to be in space wouldn't sit well with me got to give the guy a nice place or got to give the girl or the group a nice place to live the kerbals whatever and of course i think this only works after the place has been scanned so that's not going to help us Okay, so Delta V, not all that badly affected. And we've got it now to where it all comes out in a nice, tight little package. Okay, I, we can do this. We can do this. Hmm, mm, mm. You know, we don't need any RCS for where we're going. So I'm actually going to take this off. Oh, you know what? No, Control Z. For like re-entry and stuff to be able to point the nose which way. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a thing. Okay, never mind. All right, let's do this. In three, two, one...
sticky fingers, killing the mood in three, two, one. Stick. <sighs> well, so we're gonna have to go again. All right, so uh, we've gone ahead and we've changed up a few things. Um, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't move. Well, what I did was I moved the um, passenger module back some to, uh, for the uh, because it was kind of nose heavy going off the runway. Changed up the uh, command modules a little bit, so now that the um, the cupola module, I guess you call it, is now centered facing forward, so we can use that to take off with, as well as the probe core that's above it. I can tilt that so it can be used for re-entry when that time comes. Uh, so other than that, I think we're good. I think we're good. Try this again. In order to save on Delta V, I'm going to try to, like I said, I'm going to try to make it less nose heavy uh, in order for the uh, craft to point upwards at a 45 degree angle quicker and getting out of the thick atmosphere faster. Engine bay doors, extended, right, ladder, solar panels, drill, hinge, uh, okay, so number 10, control from here, number 9, control from here. All right, close. Here we go again. Go. No, oh, and this is way out of the way, so that's not going to work. Of course, backspace doesn't work, so there really is no way to go back to where you were trying to center at, which has been one of the wonderful problems with KSP when it goes into map mode. There we go, finally. Gosh, damn it. I wonder if we can use the moon to slingshot, save some Delta V. I really have never done that before, but possibility could work. Okay, so forget what it was last time. I think it was 900 something delta V, but now we have 1157 meters per second delta V left. Actually might be able to pull this off now. Like I said before, all we have to do is get to Minmus. We just have to get there. See, we, uh, we, we could slingshot out of the solar system, but that's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, so technically we could say that he's, you know, being uh, given supplies and fed food and all sort of good stuff while he's up there. We're just waiting for Mimis to get into position. Hmm? Oh, well, I'll be gosh darn. That's freaking perfect. Hmm. I mean, at this point, I'll take anything. 922 meters per second. That's only going to leave us a tiny bit. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Stupidity check in three, two, one. Duh. Wait, where's our Kerbal? Wait, 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 what? Where the hell's our Kerbal? Hold up, what? Wait a minute, what? Where in the flippin' hell is the... <sighs> mm. All the way up there without a damn Kerbal. Again. We'll make sure we have a pilot this time around. Valentina, why the hell not? I'm gonna need you to go into here. Thank you. Now, she's gonna be all alone by herself for a very long time. Oh, I'm thinking that she's gonna need a friend. Let's see, an engineer's good. Bill, there you go. Okay, save and launch. What the hell? Uh, no. Alright, so about the same. 1125 meters per second delta V left over. So, like a dum-dum, I forgot to record um, the transition from Kerbin over to Minmus. But I can tell you that by the time we got to Minmus, we had a fraction of the fuel left needed to actually land on the planet, let alone circular circularize an orbit. So, obviously, we're going to have to do something a little different. Um, like I said before, I'm trying to keep this as a one-engine space plane uh, to the moon and back, or to the moon and everywhere. So, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. I might need to redesign an entirely new craft. I think the Hercules is great for bringing payloads up into orbit around Kerbin. But, interplanetary travel might not be its forte. Alright, well, unfortunately, I'm all out of time to continue this project for today. But, I will have a video out tomorrow with more updates on what we're doing to this craft. It's going to probably look like a completely different craft when we're done molding it in order for it to accomplish what we're trying to get this thing to do but to have only one engine and keep it as a space plane is going to be challenging 
to say the least. So, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you so much for uh, watching, and thank you so much for being part of this channel. I am Veos, and have a good one. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Share, like, and subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. blah.